Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. Today we are going to introduce the rules of integration. As we discussed in the previous video that the inversing process of differentiation and finding the primitive or original function from its derivative is called integration or anti-differentiation. As like a differentiation, there are some basic rules we can apply when we integrating the functions. These rules of integrations are obtained by reversing the corresponding rules of differentiation. The first rule of integration is that integral of a constant is equal to that constant times the variable of integration plus an arbitrary constant. That is integration of constant k with respect to x is equal to the kx plus c that is where k is the constant and x is the variable of integration and c is the arbitrary constant. For example, the integral of 6 where 6 is the constant which is equal to the constant times that is 6 times the variable of integration that is x plus an arbitrary constant that is c. So the integral of 6 is equal to 6x plus c. The second rule of integration is that the integral of 1. The differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 and the integration is the reverse process of differentiation we know. So the integration of 1 is x plus c where c is the arbitrary constant. Thus integral of 1 written simply as dx. So integral of dx is equal to x plus c. Next one is the power rule for the integration which provide us with a formula that give us to integrate any function that can be written as a power of x. The power rule for integral allow us to find indefinite integral of a variety of functions like polynomial, functions involving roots and even some of the rational functions. To apply the rules, simply, simply we have to take the exponent and add 1 then divide by the same value finally don't forget to add the constant c that is applying the power rule by adding 1 to each exponent and then dividing by the same number so it here the integral power uh, power function that is x raised to the power n that is integral of x raised to n dx is equal to 1 by 1 plus n into x raised to the power n plus 1 plus c there is a one problem here that is the formula here we are denoted for any real number even for fraction or an irrational number except exponent n is equal to minus 1 which give the value of 0. For example the integral of x cube which is equal to 1 by 1 plus n which is exponent that is 3 into x raised to the power n plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 plus c which is equal to 1 by 4 x raised to the power 4 plus c. So this is the integral of x cube. I have already said that the power rule of integration will not work when the power of x that is exponent is minus 1. That is the above formula can be used to evaluate the integrals in which the power is minus 1. Then the power rule does not work. Then the antiderivative of or integral of x to the negative 1 power is the natural logarithm that is log x plus or ln x plus c when x is equal to greater than 0. That is the natural log function is defined only for the positive values. Its domain contain only the positive values. But the domain of the original functions whose antiderivative you just calculated might include negative values also. In that case, if you just take the variable, you will have a problem. On the other hand, if you took the absolute value, it will satisfy the criteria. Therefore, as for negative x, that is if x is less than 0, then the integral of x to the negative 1 power is the ln absolute value of x plus c when x is equal to less than 0. For example, the integral of 1 by 3x dx which is equal to 1 by 3 integral of 1 by x dx. So it is equal to 1 by 3 into 
the integral of 1 by x which is ln x absolute value of x plus c. The exponential function is perhaps the most efficient function in terms of operation of calculus. The exponential function has its own derivatives and its own integrals. So the exponential functions are function in the form of f of x is equal to a raised to the power x. For example, here we are taking the exponential function in the form of a raised to the power kx. Then the integral of a raised to the kx dx is equal to a raised to the power kx divided by k plus the natural log of a plus c. For example, if we have an exponential function in the form of 2 raised to the power 3x, then the integral of 2 raised to the power 3x dx is equal to 2 raised to the power 3x by the k. That is here it is 3 plus the natural log of 2 plus c. The next rule of integration is the integral of natural exponential function. Here the natural exponential function where is in the form of e raised to the power kx. So the integral of the natural exponential function is that is integral of e raised to the power kx dx is equal to e raised to the power kx divided by k plus c. For example, we have the function the natural exponential function that is 3 e raised to the power minus 3x. Then the integral of 3 e raised to the power 3 minus 3x dx is equal to the k raised to the e raised to the power kx that is equal to 3 into e raised to the power minus 3x divided by k that is here it is minus 3 plus c. So which is equal to minus e raised to the power minus 3x plus c. The integral of a constant times a function is equal to the constant times the derivative of the function. That is the constant multiple rule for integration which tells you that it's okay to move the constant outside of an integral before you integrate. For example, here we have the function that is k into f of x. Then the integral of k into f of x dx is equal to taking k outside of an integral that is k integral of f of x plus c. For example, if we have a function that is 5x raised to the power 4, then the integral of 5x raised to the power 4 dx is equal to taking the constant outside of the integral, then it is 5 into integral of x raised to the power 4 dx, which is equal to 5 into x raised to the power 4, which is equal to 1 by 1 plus 4 into x raised to 4 plus 1 plus c that is equal to 5 into 1 by 5 x raised to the power 5 plus c which is equal to 5 5 will be cancelled so x raised to the power 5 plus c. The next rule of differentiation is the integral of sum or difference that is the integral of the sum or differences of the two function is the sum or differences of their integrals for example we have a two function that is f of x and g of x. Then the integral of f of x plus or minus their sum or difference g of x dx then it is equal to the the sum of two function or difference of two function separately we are taking into account that is integration of f of x dx plus or minus integration of g of x dx plus arbitrary constant c. Here we are going to take the example of integral of the sum or difference of two function. For example, the integral of the 2x square minus 3x plus 1 dx. Then it is equal to taking the constant outside that is 2 into x square dx minus integral of 3x that is taking minus 3 it is outside. Then minus 3 integral x dx plus then integral of 1 which is equal to integral of dx which is equal to 2 into the integral of x square which is equal to 1 by 1 plus 2 x raised to the power 2 plus 1 minus 3 into integral of x raised to the power 1 so it is 1 by 1 plus 1 x raised to the power 1 plus 1 plus integral of x integral of 1 which is equal to x. We can solve this that is 2 into 1 by 3 x cube minus 3 into 1 by 2 x square plus x plus c. So we can simplify it. It is 2 by 3 x cube minus 3 by 2 x square plus x plus c. The next rule of integration is the integral of the negative of a function which is equal to 
the negative of the integral of that function. For example, the integral of minus f of x dx is equal to taking minus outside of the integral that is minus integral of f of x dx. For example, the integral of minus x square dx which is equal to minus into integral of x square dx which is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus 2x raised to the power 2 plus 1 plus c which is equal to 1 by 3 x cube plus c. We can simplify, we can write it is minus x cube by 3 plus c. I hope you are clear about the various rules of integration. And in the next video, we will discuss the integration by substitution and integration by parts. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.